My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Here's something we haven't had in a while, a 1950 Merc Chop Top Lead Sled. This thing's cool and you know what's different about this one? It's got a built motor with a blower and dual quads sticking out of the hood of it. This thing's got some muscle. Wait till you hear it run towards the end of this video. And it is air conditioned, it's comfortable, it's just a cool ride. Go to volocars.com, uh, you can look at the pictures, read the description. There is a price tag on every one of our cars, including this one, along with a monthly finance option as well. Yes, we can finance a 1950 Mercury for you. Uh, that's at volocars.com. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. That way you're notified. i got some great cars coming up. But for right now, buckle up. Join me. Let's go for a spin. So underneath the car, it's all been redone. The floors are all nice and solid. Uh, front end, they grafted its original frame, but the front was cut off and a front clip was put on. It's independent suspension with tubular control arms, coil over adjustable shocks, rack and pinion steering. Uh, in back, it has new leaf springs, bushings, uh, and has air shocks, and it is uh, controllable. There's a dial and a gauge in the trunk. Uh, <clears throat> disc brakes at all four wheels. That whole system's new. E-brakes assembly, it's all part of the new brake system. The fuel system's been restored. Uh, real nice custom dual exhaust system, and uh, it has stainless steel electric dumps. I'll demonstrate that at the end of the video. You hit the button, they're actually fast, just a second or two, and they're open, and uh, boy, it'll, it'll rock the walls. Uh, or you can close them back up, and it still makes some sound. Flowmaster mufflers, uh, and then they're both bent. It's dual exhaust, but it, they both come out on the uh, passenger side at the rear of the car. So nice custom exhaust system. Um, you look up at the motor, it's clean, it's painted the color of the car. Uh, transmission is a turbo 400 automatic with a finned aluminum pan. Rebuilt uh, custom drive shaft. Uh, so all the components have been redone. The odometer shows two or 3,000 miles on it. Uh, I believe that's since the car was rebuilt. Now let's check out the body. Obviously there's a lot of modifications, any trim, uh, moldings, emblems, that's all been removed and filled. I believe the headlights are Frenched. I think they would have had like a rim around it originally. And of course the front end is all custom. The bumper's removed, it's got a nice grill all reworked uh, yeah it's got a real nice stance it's lowered down and i don't see the body work showing sometimes it starts to crack and you see the body work i don't see that uh, they cut a hole in the hood for that big scoop the top is chopped like i said uh, doors look to be in nice shape no moldings no door handles it's all wiped clean nice and smooth the trunk all refabricated, custom uh, French tail lights, no handles, no emblems, no bumper, recessed license plate. So all the body work is actually in really good shape. And the car is straight, so it has a real nice presence when you walk up on it. I thought the car was blue in our system. It was labeled purple. I changed it. I said, no, it's wrong. It's blue. I just seen this car out in the daylight. I just pulled it in here, and it's purple out in the daylight and then I pull it back in here and it's blue again so it does have a flip-flop color um, but as I was saying it shows really well now there are imperfections in the paint there are oh those are just specks I thought there were bubbles uh, but there are some imperfections there's a bubble right here about the size of a quarter just kind of lifted up one circle um, what else did I see there's some minor imperfections in the paint. This is all shiny. There's a little tiny nick right there. I think there's a few little specks from bugs, little tiny nicks up front here. There are a few others worth pointing out. Here's a like something chipped it. They did brush touch it with the right colors, so it's really not obvious. 
something scratched the paint that's not all the way through, so the color's still there. It's just uh, there are some scratches, a couple bubbles right here. It's probably where they maybe worked on chopping it. So there are a few imperfections, but this car's got so much to look at. People walking up on the car, they're not going to be noticing that. Uh, it looks like, well, they had to cut new glass for it. It's smoked glass. 20-inch U.S. mag wheels, big chrome wheels with continental tires. See the exhaust? They both come out over here like I was talking about. The molding that is here is straightened and polished. So to get in the car, as far as I know, you, you have to open this and reach in. And this wing window does have a crack in the glass. This can be slid out, and then they would cut a new one for it. So that'll need to be done. Um, you can also have remote poppers made where it's on a keychain. But as of right now, you leave that unlocked, you reach in and open the window. Oh, we didn't talk about the lake pipes. They're just for looks, uh, but they are sharp looking. It's a common 50s uh, custom deal. It's a little bit of mix of new and old uh, style here. So let's open it up. We got a lot more to show you inside the car. Okay, I've already popped the trunk release in the door jam. There's a rubber grommet with a hole. You stick your finger in there and you lift up on the little lever and that's what pops the trunk. Uh, the trunk is upholstered like the interior. It's got some nice embossed work. It's been boxed and upholstered. Uh, the floor is carpeted. Uh, over here, this is the gas cap. Uh, you just unscrew that right there, and that's where you'll put your fuel in. There's a fuel gauge here. I honestly don't know why, uh, uh, but that's there. You have a battery disconnect switch here if you want to kill the power, which means the battery is probably behind this panel. Uh, this is for the uh, air suspension. There must be air shocks in front, too, according to this. It's if you need a little more air, and you can raise and lower with them two buttons so you put the height where you want it to be so nice trunk compartment now i mentioned 20 inch wheels are actually 18s in front so it's got staggered wheels they're matching wheels just different sizes i like the blue with the brown interior it's the color of the my everyday car um, so all the interior was custom made, the door panels, got billet handles. The dash is painted, it's digital uh, gauges. Okay, 2,300 miles are what's showing. And I did notice the fuel gauge is flashing, so maybe that's not hooked up. Maybe the gauge in the back is the one you need to use. Love the steering wheel. This is obviously new, gorgeous steering wheel. Um, Nope, nothing in there, just your AC stuff. You have the vintage air controls, you got stereo, you got cup holders, power windows, a ratchet shifter, a little compartment here. Oh, that's so you can reach in and grab the emergency brake. But the console goes front to back. Bucket seats, really nice quality uh, material they use. It's almost like a rubbery, thick, but soft uh, material. You got bucket seats in front, rear bench seat. Headliner is like a suede looking material. Now it's chopped, but you see I'm six foot. I fit in here comfortably. That's not a, an issue. That's a tilt column too. Weather strips around the door were replaced. Okay, doesn't look like there's a rod to hold this open. There used to be one here. Um, so we've got a small block Chevy motor, uh, all built, big Y-end blower, polished blower on top with dual holly, uh, dual feed carbs, this big old air cleaner. The whole thing is just cool. I mean, it makes some nice sound. The 
the drive and the blower makes it whining sound. You got aluminum valve covers and breathers and all the linkage uh, is all nice looking. Chrome alternator, uh, stainless radiator hose, polished overflow bottle. It does have a polished AC compressor. Looks like it doesn't have heat. It just has air conditioning. It's got a set of headers, uh, braided fuel lines, fuel regulator, firewalls made smooth. It's an electric fan on the radiator. Chrome fuel pump, chrome master cylinder. Manual steering, it is rack and pinion, but it's manual. You gotta put a little muscle in it in the parking lot. Going down the road, you're fine. It's a heavy hood, I'm gonna set it down. What kind of ignition's back there? Yeah, it's got a billet distributor. I'm sure it's electronic ignition. color is very interesting. I don't think it's a metal flake. It's just a single color. I didn't know a single color could flip and flop that much uh, from purple to blue. Uh, but anyway, this is a tough car. It, it's just, I mean, look at it. This is an awesome car to cruise around and drive. It's going to get attention. You know it would cost $200,000 to build one of these perfectly. This is not a perfect car. It's a very nice car. Um, and it's I think priced very affordably for a chopped Merc with this sticking out of the hood, air condition. Uh, go ahead and drive it. I've told this story before. My brother had a few 59 Cadillacs. He had one like in this condition. Not perfect, but as a driver, he drove it everywhere. The next one, he went crazy and made it perfect. He never used it, never enjoyed it, ended up selling it. So, cool ride. Anyway, volocars.com, I gave you my impression. You can talk to the salesman. They'll answer your questions. They can help get this financed. They can help get it delivered to your door at volocars.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. We have plenty more cool cars coming up. Thanks for watching.